all right so this is what the wig look like oh actually no this is not what the wig look like why do they do that to her who wig is this this is not the wig that's in this box she cute um face beat and all that shit. Ugh, they lie it's not what it look like i'm gonna take it out the package so you guys can see but this is what it says it says it takes up to 400 i would not play with no 400 degrees on this um human slash synthetic wig it has a five by five parting space that is legit that is accurate i had this on before and yeah that's really it like i said I got the shade 1B, and this is the company that makes it. It's a deep um, lace front to wig, and I'm going to show you guys what I look like in this bad boy in the hot second. All right, I'm having a hard time trying to show y'all it on camera and, like, trying to hold it up. I think I do have, like, a little cheap mannequin here. I could probably pop it on, but, like, already y'all can see this is not what it looked like. Like, it look, I mean, this is what it looked like. It looks so much better than the wig that the girl is on in the package but yeah this is the closure and the inside so and then it's like the scowl and then it has like the comb so you can stop it from like slotting off your head and yeah it has some little baby hair too in the front so it got like a little bit of baby hair it's kind of like brushed back you could kind of see like the little swoops it's a little long for baby hairs but yeah it has that so i'm gonna um pluck my knives and this is exactly what i do i i part the space no i'm gonna show y'all on camera i'm gonna be a little bit more decent today i don't have um look how natural that looks i don't have a, um a mannequin head i thought i did like so unprepared so what i'm gonna do so what I'm going to do is just try to put it on my head. I got my hair in a ponytail. I'm going to try to put it on my head and um put a little stocking cap on. And then I'll just try to like film me doing it as best as I can at this point. Because um, Dan's on this stress moment. All right, let's just pop this on my head. Give me a few this minutes. This is the hair. So I did not cut the lace off. So as you can see, it's still on there. And then that's right my cap right behind me so i'm gonna try to set the camera down but so far so good it's laying pretty flat my hair is still in a ponytail so i don't know if i'm gonna keep this on or wear my hair in a ponytail all right moving on i'm gonna cut this lace off right here i swear i'm gonna get better with the videos don't even worry about it i'm gonna cut i'm gonna cut your edges I try not to cut like in a straight line just to keep the part looking kind of natural keep going all the way around till you get to your air don't cut your edges be careful and voila that part is going cut this edges on slobber on bing you see that Mm, mm. wait for it wait for it let me do the other side get all this off on the other side so let me get into this other side same thing for this side make sure you don't cut your edges with the front just to keep it like phone be like straight across and just looking like real fake Let's get this side over here. Oh, I'm gonna cut my own edges. Okay, and voila, it's off. So now we're gonna pluck the middle part, make the part look a little near true, like right up in here. So let's get into that the middle and then how i pluck my knots is i go to like the very center right here and i wrap my finger on it and i just pull it out and i just keep on doing that all the way down stay close to like the white line so it won't be like a really big gap circle it around and pull it out and so as you can see it's making a little part already you can see that little part coming up so I'm just try to keep it like really natural looking. Lucky 
like me, just go from like side to side, but stay like in the middle. And the hair just comes out so easy. You just pull like a little single knot, every little single knot. And you just keep pulling. You see the part is becoming more visible. How to pluck your knots for dummies. I'm looking in the mirror too, so I'm trying to show y'all while looking in the mirror. Because I ain't no professional. Not bad if you ask me for 60 bucks. I mean, considering like a wig, like a really good lace wig is like $600. So it's not bad. You just brush your own little baby hairs out. Of course, you have to play with it a while, like to really get it like adjusted to make it look like really natural. You know, because it look a little straight around the front part, but. You just keep playing with it till you get it to how you like it. I'll be here a while just playing with mine. I'll try to do a more detailed video the next time, but today we filming something else, so we ain't got all day to be doing this. This is part of a vlog, so it's a little baggy right here. I'm going to pull it down more in the bag. So you can see my cap starts right there. But, not sure if I want to, like, pull it up a little closer or keep it farther back. I'm going to take care of all of this, so don't even worry about all of that. That's if you want, like, sideburns out, which I probably will leave a little sideburn out. I know some of y'all like y'all sideburns super long. I don't, but... If you want like super long sideburns, just cut around the air like that and leave the hair down. But yeah, this is the part with me just like pulling it out. And you know, you can always put your little makeup there and stuff like that to make it look a little more natural. But I'm gonna play around with it some more and then I'll let you guys see what it look like. Let you guys all. see what it looks like when it's all done and set once I finish playing with it. Got hair all in my damn mouth. But so far, not so bad. This part just needs to look a little bit more natural, but we're going to get to that. But if you would like to see a more detailed video, you will definitely have to leave me some comments in the bottom. Um, If you want to see me do this up close and personal. But at this point, I'm going to show y'all what it looked like when it's all done. So, get down. I'm not talking to y'all six hundred dollar wig wearing hoes, okay? This ain't for y'all, so skip to the next story. But for y'all who still wear red hair store wigs, this is for you. Pooh. This a hair store wig, sis. Hair store sixty dollar wig, sis. Okay. You guys, guess where I'm going? <laughs> um. Yes, guess where I'm going, y'all. I'm so hyped. Rollers in and all. Sis is booked for another photo shoot. It's like, no. <laughs> I'm booked for another shoot, sis. Like, yes, yes. You want me to do what? You want me to do what? You want me to do another shoot? You damn right I want to do another shoot. Crystal, them clothes cute as shit. What you talking about? Oh, shoot. Let me look at my, my bad, y'all. I'm back. But yeah, I'm like super, super hyped. Like, I'm so freaking hyped because, like, first of all, sis, your clothes is about cute as hell. Like, her clothes is so cute. I'm hot in this car. Her clothes is so, so cute. So, who wouldn't want to model like cute, cute clothes? Like, the fact that your clothes is so cute, like, your clothes is so freaking cute. Damn right, I'm coming back. So, I'm excited. And then, like, the last shoot, like I said, went so well. It was really quick, too. Like, it didn't, like, take up, like, a lot of time. But, I mean, it got the job done. So, I'm on my way there. Rollers and all. On my way. 
Since I am not playing with you today, you said last time you wanted straight hair. Baby, I came with straight hair today, okay? Like, took some time out to do my hair. I just hope, I just hope that it looks cute um, because I'm not really used to wearing my hair down no more. So, um, yeah, I hope I look cute in the photos. Like, I hope I don't look all stiff. I feel like when I'm not used to, like, wearing a certain hairstyle, like, I be looking, like, real stiff. Like, because I don't want my hair to fall out of place. But, um, I'm only a few minutes away. The shoot is at 3 o'clock today. It's a little dreary outside. Um, and another thing I wanted to mention was I like her photographer, um, the way his, he uh, does his photos, like the light in his photos, because around this time I be like so pale and he does, he does like a really good lighting on your pictures. He makes you look really tan, make you look like you're on vacation. So, I'm excited to work with him too. And yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's where your girl on her way to. Look at your girl. Y'all haven't already. Go check out my vlog for my last photo shoot. And also, go check out my clothing haul with Perfectly Flawless Boutique. Um, you know. And if you're buying some stuff online, buy me something too. Shame and tell my friends how much I do for you. Because they know that you would never do the same for me. I wasn't looking for your secrets. They just came to me. And they contradicted everything you claim to be. I'm here. I just seen a photographer outside. I'm a few minutes late. Let me hurry my ass up. Yeah, I'll see y'all later. I'm parking. Bye. Bye. Y'all want to see them behind the scenes?
got him. Box so y'all can buy some t-shirts. So the letters L and F make up the heart. And it seems love number five. Yeah, yeah, look at the bag. The bag logo. So it's scribbled on there. So it's scripture. So it's first Corinthians 13, 8. And if you can see the one stands for a first, and it's a three and an eight together. So yeah. Holla at me. Exactly. <laughs> y'all don't get dressed up for church like that no more, so. That's a good church shirt. <laughs> I think I'm getting like a hunger headache or something like like really annoyed with myself and I just want to take this lip gloss off my lips because it's been on for a long time and when I wear lip gloss for a long time it just <sighs> annoys me but, oh sorry I'm all yawning I'm sleepy I'll talk to y'all later but this shoot was great I already know I'm gonna show y'all um some behind the scenes where it'll be before I even say this. I don't know. But yeah. Bye.